Now let's have a conversation with uh, Jay on air right here on Week of Nigeria. Uh, just so you know, his name is Joseph Onolakbo. He is a radio and television broadcaster, content creator and event host. The man who is known professionally as Jay on air uh, started his media journey five years ago and has come a very long way since then. It's such a pleasure to have you right here with us. Thank you so much for having me. So, you know, when you, when you see the personality on social mm. media, you, you, you just have this larger than life belief. <laughs> and then when you meet him, is this quiet, calm <laughs> guy? That just... I'm pretty chill. I'm pretty chill. <laughs> People when they meet me, they are, are you the same person? I'm the same person. I'm pretty chill. So actually. is that like your alter ego? Um, to an extent. Mm -hmm. I have many alter egos, yeah. And that's the one that makes more money. So we're, we're grateful for that. So when you say <laughs> you have many alter egos, mm. what are your other alter egos? I mean, if you check the videos on social media, I have the secondary school girl, I have the mother, I have the pastor, I have the pastor's wife, I have the chief. I have so many of them. So I think it's just a way to express myself. I, I watch stuff, I see stuff, and I'm like, hmm. This would be nice to, to do, and then, yeah, that works out for me. Okay, you know, for those who are wondering, ah, this guy looks familiar. I'm not sure I can place the face. Don't worry. We'll show you exactly what Jay on Air is all about. Let's take a look at this. It's Bobby, are you ready? Oh! I've been on repeat. <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> what inspires your videos, though? Oh, my God. Everything inspires my videos. I go to church. I'm inspired by something I see. I watch TV. I'm inspired by something I see. I'm on social media. I'm inspired by something I see. So every, this conversation, could it, I could, I could do something about you guys here. You never know. Mm. Yeah. How mm. TVC wake up Nigeria hosts, you know, how they host the show. If you Maybe talk some... about how we look in the mornings. <laughs> but really, Jay, you know, everybody has a story. Yeah. Now, you started your media career about five years ago. ago. How did you get into the media? Was it something you studied at school? Mm. Or it was just something out of fashion? Mm, well, I read mass communication in university. After you know, get, getting admission, I did the sciences. And then I realized that I'm not going to be a doctor. I'm going to kill somebody, right? Oh. Uh, yeah, I, yeah. Okay. I, I was not going to be a great good doctor. So I decided to go back to school, um, read mass communication. I knew I wanted to be on radio, right? Because I had listened to radio, watched television in Lagos. But radio was a thing for me at that time. So I went back and then, you know, did the radio journey, did my internship, got a job after then, and I've been working since my internship. Okay. Uh, so that, has, that was when my journey actually really started. Okay, so 2020, for many people, bad year. For some people, awesome year. Yeah. What was 2020 for you? It was a great year. That mm. is when I decided to put my craziness of Into some sort yeah, outside, right? So people could finally see the crazy. See, right? Wow. You know, so it started with TikTok lip syncing videos. And I felt like, you know, I could also make original content, right? Mm. And then I started doing that as well. And then it became a thing. One viral video, another viral video, and, you know, yeah. So 2020 was a, I was bored, like everybody. I was at home. I was not working at the time. And then I decided that, you know, let me just lip sync like everybody. And then it became a thing. So the lip syncing was what evolved into what into you have Into making my own actual videos, yes. Okay, so you just mentioned that you didn't have a job around that period. Yeah. For some people, it would be a time of depression. Yeah. So why did you decide to... Put your own energy into this. Was it something you were advised to do? Yeah. Or it was just your choice that I beg. I'm not going to think of the fact that I don't have a job and there's lockdown. Mm. There's no way to make much money. I mean, it was, I was depressed. Let me not even lie. I was depressed. I was sad. I'd been working at a place. I felt like I wasn't, you know, appreciated, appreciated yeah. or paid what I was worth and all of that. And I left the job, which is a crazy thing to do. But when um, did you leave the job? 
I left the job, say, 2019 -ish. Around what time, 2019? Late 2019. Ha! Huh, you did not know there was going to be lockdown. I did not. I felt like, you know, <laughs> I, I'm great at my job. I will apply to some places and get a job. Ah. And they work out for me. And then lockdown happened. People were not employing and all of that. And so... I just wanted to make myself happy. Nobody mm -hmm. advised me. I was just on TikTok. I found the app. And then I started lip syncing videos. But, but the, during that period, were you just sitting at home? I was just sitting at home. OK, I, I had a business I was running at the okay. time. I just started. So the lockdown did not help matters at all. You start a new business, the lockdown starts. How are you huh. supposed to sell out to customers? Huh. But I was doing a li little things here and there. And that helped me, you know. I was able to pay some so of my bills. So you were bills. not idle. You were still able to pay your bills yes, by at least doing other exactly, things. So exactly. So how did your radio gig come about again? Because, of course, you just said that you were in between jobs as of 2020. Yeah. So how did you come about your radio gig again? I'm a friend of mine who we hadn't spoken for in a long time. Most saw my video. Oh, you are this crazy. Do you still do radio? I'm like, of course I still do radio. That's what I went to school for. Um, okay, there's this gig. Would you like to apply for this gig? Oh, sure. I applied. I had like multiple auditions. I'm sure my boss is watching multiple <laughs> auditions. <laughs> so you're trying to be like, I was oh, like, give God. me this gig already. <laughs> you know, multiple auditions and eventually happened for me. I was grateful for that. Yeah. And, and that has been that. And you know, it's, it's amazing to see that followers on social media also listen to my radio show. So I have like a family. I call them the J tribe. Wow. So they follow my journey from radio to TV to social media everywhere. So it's just like a small, you know, family of some sort. And so if people were to build a trail, there are lessons to learn from Jay's story. So first, you had a job that wasn't paying you well. You felt unappreciated. So you quit. Yeah, I did. Took a huge risk, by the way. Huge risk. Now you decide to channel that energy, the frustration, into something fun. Yeah. Which started paying your bills also. Though, of course, you didn't start paying your bills immediately, Neither. but which is Took now adding to your bills. Yeah. Now that job helped you to get another, another job. job. Yeah. And you're better paid at your radio station now yes, than I you am. could have imagined yeah. in your previous exactly. one. Exactly. You know, exactly. You know, exactly. Especially when you get a job. Being a personality, it yes. sort of helps you when yeah. you have a following. Yes. You so you can negotiate your salary. You don't just come in like, like a random, know, random broadcaster. Yeah. Do you understand? And I love random broadcasters, by the way. <laughs> just <saying. laughs> I'm not going to be a part of that conversation. <laughs> so what, what's uh, J on S plan moving forward? I mean, the plan is just to keep on loving what I do. Um, I keep, I, I mean, radio and television is still very important to me. So, of course, I want to, want to still do that. Uh, but I also want to keep on making content on social media. As long as I am happy. I don't like to be pressured to do, I mean, there are times I take a week break. There are times I don't act, act out certain characters anymore because I don't just feel equal anywhere. So the thing I feel like for me is as long as I'm happy doing what I'm doing, right? It's not about the money. It's about me being happy. I want to leave places or leave spaces if I don't feel happy or appreciated. So as long as I'm happy, as long as I feel good about it, just keep on growing. This is my year of consistency. That's what I said to myself at the start of this year. So just being consistent in what I'm doing. Fantastic. Disclaimer notice. It worked for Jay. It does not mean it will work for you. Valid. <laughs> <laughs> but hey, it could just work for you. You never can tell. Thank you so much for your time, Jay. Thank you so much uh, for So before me. we go to the kitchen, let's take a quick look at some more of uh, Jay's videos. <laughs> I want to do something quite quickly. Listen, if you miss it in the place of marriage, you have missed it in eternity. <laughs> and that is why today I want to celebrate my wife. Woo! Hold on, hold on, My wife of over 20 years, a queen, a true Proverbs 31 woman. You call her mommy, I call her my darling wife. An angel. The mother to my kids. This woman here, ah, is a true gem. Please celebrate my wife. Listen, who can 